Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Ricky's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make three ways in making ice cream chocolates known as chopsticks. The first design is going to be chocolate popsicle. The second one is going to be a combination of vanilla and chocolate. And the last one is going to be peanut chocolate popsicle. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Please, please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need one cup of condensed milk, which is approximately to 250 milliliter, and two cups of heavy whipping cream, which is approximately to 500 milliliter. In a medium large bowl, you're going to add 500 milliliter of whipping cream. Using a hand mixer, you're going to wait for approximately 1 to 2 minutes. Do not let it to be thick. After 1 to 2 minutes, you're going to add 1 cup of condensed milk, which is approximately to 250 milliliter. The recipe of condensed milk is already on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description box so you can able to check out this recipe. And I'm going to add 2 more tablespoons of condensed milk. Using a spatula or a wooden spoon, you're going to mix these two ingredients until nicely combined. Once the two ingredients are nicely combined, you're going to pour the mixture into a jug so that it can be easier to pour in the ice molds. Then afterwards, you're going to pour the mixture into the ice molds as you can see in the video. Once you're done, cover the ice molds and put in the freezer for approximately 6 hours or more. After 6 hours or more, my popsicles have frozen. I'm going to use this method of double boiler or you can use a microwave to melt your chocolates. You're going to need 200 grams of milk chocolate and 50 grams of dark chocolate. Cut them into small pieces and put them in a medium bowl as you can see in the video. Once you're done breaking your chocolate into small pieces, you're going to add about 2 tablespoons of butter. Then put the chocolate into the large bowl which has the hot water. Then stir continuously till the chocolate melts. Once your chocolate has completely melted, you're going to remove the chocolate out from the bowl which has the hot water. And then you're going to add about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil and mix everything well till the consistency becomes a bit light. Once ready, pour the chocolate into a glass and let it to cool down at room temperature. Afterwards, you're going to remove one popsicle at a time. You have to be a bit quick at this point. Dip the popsicle into the melted chocolate Make sure the chocolate has completely cooled on before dipping it in or else your popsicle is going to melt. Once the popsicle is completely covered with the chocolate, remove it and let it to dry a bit. Then afterwards, garnish it with crushed peanuts as you can see in the video step by step. Let the chocolate to completely dry, 
and my peanut chocolate ice cream is ready as you can see in the video and I'm going to show you the second design. So the second design is a bit similar but without using the crushed peanuts. Dip in the popsicles into the melted chocolates. Once completely covered with the chocolate, remove it and let it to completely dry. Once your chocolate popsicle is completely dry, then your chocolate popsicle is ready and place it on a plate. And my tasty chocolate popsicles or chocksticks are ready as you can see in the video. I have plain chocolates and I have chocolates and vanilla and the last one peanut chocolates. Like these chocolate popsicles are so, so tasty and enjoy your chocolate popsicles. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes on how to make different types of popsicles, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rikia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.